Rachel from Vimetrica and I'm here to show you our new Yan test kit which me measures yeast assimilable nitrogen in your wine. To begin, you first want to calibrate your SC300 or 200 and pH probe, which we already did. And I'm also going to be showing you using our probe kit setup. So I went ahead and filled uh, my 10 ml burette with TA titrant. We'll come back to that later. So now the kit comes with formaldehyde. Uh, formaldehyde is going to come in a small amber vial and you always, it should be handled with care and you um, always want to use gloves, safety goggles, do not mouth pipette, and keep away from open flames and you should use in a well ventilated area. Uh, the formaldehyde used in the assay needs to be pH to 8.0. Uh, only pH adjusts the amount that you're going to be using for the assay. The assay requires one mil of formaldehyde for each sample. I'm only going to be testing one sample, so to make sure I have enough, I'm going to pH adjust three mils, which I already have here. I placed it in a 15 mil conical tube that comes in the kit. So I'm going to go ahead and pH adjust this. Turn on your probe. And you're going to want to pH adjust it with TA titrant. You can use a little transfer pipette. You only want to add one drop at a time. Okay, I only added a couple drops, I'm already there. Go ahead, cap this off. Go ahead, rinse your pH probe. Set it up in my pro kit. Now, now take a 10 ml wine sample. Place it in your beaker. and add 10 mils of DI water. I'm now going to perform a standard TA titration. So turn your instrument on if it isn't already. You can put it in TA mode. I'm going to place a stir bar in my cup. Turn the magnetic stir on. Note your, well, if you want to do a TA titration, you can. Uh, just note the starting volume, but you don't need it for the AN analysis. So I'm just going to go ahead and pH adjust this to 
Okay, I've reached 8.2, so this is the end point for the TA titration. You want to find TA, uh, subtract your final end point from the initial. I'm not going to do that today. Um, I am going to add more TA titrant to my urette, just so I don't go over. Or, I have enough. Do you want to note your initial uh, volume here? So I'm sitting right at two mils. So I'm going to write that down. And now you're going to add one mil of your pH formaldehyde. So you can go ahead and use a transfer pipette for this. Add it to the mixing line. This should drop the pH immediately. Once the pH stabilizes, you can begin titrating again. Again, make sure to note your initial uh, volume. And begin titrating again slowly, one drop at a time. Okay, the instrument has, well the solution has reached 8.2 again, the instrument has started signaling and I will note my final volume. The beam is stopped but it still reads 8.2 on the instrument. Um, my final volume is 3.34. Go ahead and turn this off. So to calculate your YAN or uh, milligrams of nitrogen per liter, you simply take the difference in your change of volume. So that would be 3.34 minus 2. Multiply that by 0.133 multiplied by 1400, which gives me 249.5 milligrams nitrogen per liter. Oh, also cleanup. So um, the formaldehyde can be dangerous. You don't want to dump it down the sink. Uh, what you want to do is dump the solution in an inert container. Glass is fine. You want to put about a quarter teaspoon of the neutralizing powder provided in the kit into the solution. That will swirl and go ahead and rinse your pH probe into the solution as well.